Okay, so all my friends want to know how to make lacy cornbread, and it's too complicated to explain, so I'm going to show you in this video how to do it. So I like to use um, something like this. It, we're not measuring anything, so it doesn't have to have any measurements. Just something that you can pour, okay? And this is the only kind of cornmeal that I use for lacy cornbread, okay? It's Watkins Old Fashioned stone ground fresh country meal okay so and I keep it in the refrigerator when I'm not using it okay so open up the bag and I usually depending on how many people I have I'll usually fill my my cup up about halfway and if you're using something this size it's like one and a half cups but I don't measure anything so I just pour it in there and yes I always make a very big mess when I'm cooking you get it on the set back. Okay. So, set that to the side. Um, let's back up just a step. You get your cast iron skillet. Do we have a good picture of a, a good, very well seasoned cast iron skillet? And there is enough Crisco in the bottom, I just used whatever, um, to cover the entire bottom, okay, with a tiny layer. Yes, this, it's soaked in fat, so don't, you know, don't think you're going to. This is very bad for you, so um, just get the grease on in there, okay? All right, so now that I've got my cornmeal in my cup, I'm also going to add some salt, okay? And don't add too much, because you can always add more. Put some salt in there, because the cornmeal has no flavor at all, and if you don't like salt or you want plain cornbread with no salty flavor, then just don't put it in. Okay, now, a very important part is that your tap water has to be very cold, okay? And you have to have a fork. Okay, so fork, tap water, very cold. All right, so proceed to get this because I'm just going to put it in here. Because the most important part about making lacy cornbread is to have the consistency right. The temperature of your pan and the consistency of your cornmeal. Scrape the sides to see it sticks. Okay, that's way too thick. Okay? And I can't describe to you, you're just going to have to play around with it. Okay? Make sure you try to get all the lumps out. That's what the cold water is for. It keeps it from getting lumpy. Okay, that's still way too thick. Okay. All right. That's about right. I almost put too much cornmeal in here to get enough water. And, you know, if you do that, just pour some off into another container. And, you know, so this is going to make an awful lot of cornbread. Okay. So we're going to, and it still may be a little bit too thick, but we'll know when we pour. Okay. Depending on your oven, and I cook on electric, which I hate, but it is what it is. Um, I set my um, setting right at medium. Get your pan good and hot, okay? And yes, it's going to spatter everywhere, okay? So you stir, 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 stir all the time until you pour. And see what happens? That's why it gets the lace around the edge. That's why they call it lacy cornbread. Okay? So this consistency is looking pretty good. You saw kind of how thin it was. Let me get a spoon so you can see. Alright, so here's the consistency. You can see. I mean, it's, you know, it's thin. It's really thin. So... That's important to get that part right. Okay, and so you let it cook. Um, the edges will get nice and brown. And then we're going to turn it over. And this makes a huge mess all over your stove. So, you know, and make sure you have on a shirt that doesn't really matter. Tonight we're having hog, hog jowl, black eyed peas, collard greens. And I cooked some fat bag for our New Year's dinner. Calories. Yes, all nice and fat. 
we feel our arteries clogging up. So I know this seems like it's cooking kind of slowly, but if the temperature is too hot, the edges will burn and the inside will be raw. And it's very, very thin. Um, but I do think the consistency is good. If, if it were too thick, you'd have a big kind of blobby pancake in the middle. And you know what? Some people like it that way. So if that's what you like, then cook it that way. And for some reason, mine always browns more on this side. I don't know why. So I constantly find myself, you know, turning my pan. But it's important to have enough grease in there. And I know you see the grease all floating around in there. So a lot of grease. So it's almost time to turn it. Wanda likes hers really brown. I don't like mine quite as brown, so I have to cook them two different ways. To see if I can slide that around, it'll brown that other side a little bit. And again, to get the temperature right, you just, you know, it's going to vary by stove and whether you're cooking on gas or electric. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. That is a beautiful lacy cornbread. See the lacy around the edge? Okay, and then that doesn't take long to finish the other side. And um, I'm just going to get a I'm just going to get a cookie sheet and put some paper towels on it. And um, What I don't like about doing this is it takes forever because you can only do one piece at a time. And I guess, you know, if you got ambitious and had a really giant cast iron skillet, I just tilted a little bit, but yeah, it's going to be greasy. So you put it over there, it dries off. All right, again, stir, 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 stir. Because it all the cornmeal settles to the bottom while each piece is cooking. Oh, I meant to taste it. Mm, it's not quite salty enough. So there's probably a teaspoon and a half of salt in here at this point. But just remember that the, the corn meal has no flavor, pretty much, except for corn. Alright, so tilt my grease around. And you can make it as big or as small as you want. When I get tired of doing this, they tend to get bigger and bigger. You tilt your pan if you need to. My floor is not level. My house is really old. So my stove's not level. So it's good to have a level stove. Okay, well that's how you make lacy cornbread. Bye, y'all.